Yo, what's up everybody? This is TNT Man, and today we show you how to install virtually any mod into the NASCAR Racing 2003 season demo. Okay, it's a fairly advanced process, so it's not... You, it's sort of, yeah, it's pretty advanced, but I'm going to try and explain it with the most clarity I can, and if, I, if it's a little weird, I apologize, I'm sorry, but... Um, so this will work with most mods in the demo, but because the demo to, the demo is limited quite a bit, um, there will be some limitations as well. But um, we'll get to that later. But first, before we ins do we download anything, go to my computer, click on my computer, then click on um, local disk C or um, C drive, whatever it's called. Then Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 Season Demo, and then Series. Now this is assuming you've downloaded, or you've downloaded and installed the demo. Um, after you install the demo, there's just one file inside the Series folder, and that's called Cup. You can see I have some other ones, and inside these other folders, like Cup 11S, Cup 70 and Cup 90 and Cup COT, those all contain other mods um, uh, corresponding with their name. So, um, I want you to make a new folder in here and call it whatever mod you're about to download. Um, let's see. We'll download... We'll download the... Um, Another Cup 90 mod. Oops. So I'm going to call this Cup 90, Cup 91 because I already have Cup 90 in here. Anyway, um, but you call it Cup 90, or if you're downloading the Cup 70 mod, download that, or Cup 11s, or Cup COT, or whatever you, you wish. Um, make a new folder with that name. Okay, now I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to search for Cup90 mod. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. So, um, you have to be... A lot of these sites are down because it's been years, you know, since NASCAR 2003 has been out. So a lot of these are down, so it's going to be just a little bit harder, but still. I'll go to the first one in the top. Yeah. Um, here we go. Now, the most important thing about downloading mods, it has to be in cup physics. Um, it has to be cup. It can't be CTS or GNS or PTA. If it says those in the download, that's wrong. You can't download it. So it has to be in cup. So, um, well, here's the cup version. Now, when you download... There will be three formats in the download. RAR, which is what this one is, and that's the hardest one to install. Um, next is a .exe file, and that's like an install program, so it installs all the files into the full game. And um, I'll show you. I'll show you later in this video how to do that. And then um, uh, that's probably the second easiest one. The most easy, or the easiest, would be in a zip file. Z-I-P. And, um, so, whatever the case may be, uh, we're gonna just save the RAR or zip files into that series folder with the uh, cup and cup 90 and all these. If it's in an EXE file, hit run so it'll automatically start the install and in installing program um, and I'll show you how to do that in fact I'll show you right now when the installing when it's downloaded you'll get a window that'll say would you like to install or would you like to unzip to this certain location so you know I'll go through the whole process and say yes yes I want to ins install it right to the default location so install it default and um, go into 
My Computer, Local Disk C, Papyrus, and you'll see that NASCAR Racing 2003 Season folder is there, even though you may not have the game. So it's installed all those files to um, what it thinks is the full game. So go in there, click on Series, and then this will be the name of the mod you downloaded. Um, a few minutes ago, before I recorded, um, I installed a Craftsman Truck Series mod with Cup Physics, and it installed it to the full game location. So you go inside, and you'll see several files, whatever mod it may be, and I want you to do this cool little trick. So, some of you probably know this, but hold control on your keyboard and click on series.def, the name of the mod, dot dat, in this case it's nfl underscore cts dot dat, and the final file you, you click is cars, it's a folder. So then right click one of those and click copy. Now go back, we'll go back again, and back again, until you come to the Papyrus folder with NASCAR Racing 2003 Season and NASCAR Racing 2003 Season Demo. So click on the demo, go into Series again, and now go to the new folder you made, and in this case it's a different mod, this is the Craftsman Truck Series, so I'll call it CTS, another folder. Go inside, and then paste those three files you copied in there. Okay, now, this is a really important step. Um, on the .dat file, you need to rename that to cup.dat. Okay? That's, that's fairly important. Um, okay, then go back. And that's how you do it with an .exe file. So basically, you run the install program, install all the files to the default location, and then you take those three things and put them inside the mod folder. Um, by now, that download should be finished. Well, not quite. Okay. Um, if it's a zip file, um, I remember saving one to my documents. It's the bullring mod, actually. So, inside there... Um, where is it at? Bullring, here we go. Uh, it's in a zip file, so save that in the series folder as well. In fact, I'm going to just move it there right now so you can do step-by-step -step instructions. So basically, after the download's finished, you'll have the zip file in there. So click on it and go inside, and you're going to highlight those same three files, the cars folder, the name of the mod, dot dat, and series.def. So you can copy those or cut or whatever, and go back, make, I'm going to make another folder, and call this BR Cup. I'll be, call it BR Cup 11 because it's 2011. Um, go inside and paste those three folders, or three files, um, and then rename the name. Yeah, this is kind of a big one. Okay, I'm finished. Um, now, the most important thing, like I said before, you need to rename the dot .dat file to cup.dat. Okay. Okay, now... That should be almost done. Okay, if it's in a RAR file, um, Windows can't open a RAR file by itself, so you'll need a third-party program called 7-Zip or a, another program called WinRAR. Um, I'll leave a link for 7-Zip Portable. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, 7-Zip Portable, and that's a nice little file. <laughs> Um, a nice little program, and so I'll have to use that in a minute because the one the Cup ninety mod that I'm downloading right now is in a RAR file and it just finished. Okay, there it is. So, 
Um, I'm going to open up 7-zip right now. Let's see if I remember where it's installed. It's in Program Files. I installed it into... Yep, there it is, 7-zip portable. So we'll open that up. Um, and WinRAR is basically the same, if you want to download that. Um, but it looks basically like this. So, go up here, and go to C, your C drive, go to Papyrus, um, NASCAR Racing 2003 Season Demo Series, and here we go. Here's the RAR file, so you can click on that, and you see inside that there's another folder called Cup90 underscore Cup. Okay, we'll do the same deal. Copy, or hold the control key down, press... Uh, click cars. Let's see, I think this is the right file. I'm not sure. Yep, cup90.dat and series.def. And say copy to. Click the little dot thing with the three dots. And um, go all the way into the series and stuff. And then. You click on the folder that you modified earlier. In this case, I called it Cup91. So I'm going to put those three files in there. Click OK. This could take a while depending on how many car files are inside or how big the mod is. Um, so that's done now. And um, you'll see inside Cup91 or whatever file you named, you should have three files. Same as the two, same deal as the two before. Rename uh, the name of the mod dot dat to cup dot dat. So basically, when you download, you're going to take those three things and put them in a folder inside the series folder. So inside the whole directory up here, um, inside series, you make the folder and you have those three things inside. Now, this is where um, the easy step comes in. And all you have to do to um, change mods is rename the folder called cup that was originally came with the demo to cup koi. Koi stands for car of yesterday, in case you didn't know that. Then rename the uh, mod folder to cup. So basically, we're disguising... Um, the game to think it's the original mod with just renaming some files. Um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, now exit out of Windows Explorer and um, let's hope this works. I sure hope this does. It should. Drum roll, please. Oh, this is so tense. I don't know. It works. It works. Oh, yes, it works. I just have to calibrate this control stick here. But I renamed the the Craftsman Truck Mod. Okay, one other thing. I don't know right now because I'm recording, but um, possibly you're seeing like a weird glitchy screen. Um... And that's just from my recording software. Right now, I, I, it looks fine to me. I mean, it looks just like when I first played it, first played the demo. So if you're seeing all kinds of glitchy stuff and things are popping weird and stuff, that's not because of the mod. That's because of this video recorder I'm using. Uh, wait, it's not working now. That's weird. What happened? It was working a second ago. That's really weird. Okay, now, um, there is one thing that I get a lot of comments about, and that's, there's all kinds of problems. Like, you go in here and see, cars are invisible. There's nothing. I see nothing, so. Oh, I have no idea. It should have worked right away. I don't get it. Um, hmm. That is really creepy. I don't know what 
that. Um. Okay, so this could come from several things. Um. The first reason that it might not work is um that a file is named wrong. It worked initially, so I don't really know. It's the folder with the mod has to be named cup. The dot dat file has to be named cup and the cars folder these all have to be in cup. They can't be in CTS. If they are um, you can just go in and uh, download this program called Car Converter or Modify Car Files, and you just use that to convert the car files to whatever format. So that could be a problem. Um, hmm, that really baffles me. I'm gonna try another mod. <sighs> um. I rename that to Cup CTS, and I'll rename. I'll try the Cup 91 mod. We'll see what happens. So rename that to Cup. Um, go back a little bit, I guess. Close out of it. Um, we'll try it again, hopefully. Okay. Oh boy, here it comes. It's not working. That really, I have no idea. It was working a second ago. You saw that, right? It had a different background. That is so creepy. Hmm. Maybe it has to do with when I read the controls. That is so weird. Oops. I'll try and rename. I'll try a different um, steering method. I don't know. It usually works, trust me. If it's working for you, that's great. Um, it's not working for me. I don't know why. I have no idea. I've had this little problem, and I just don't know what to do. It's creepy. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm kind of at wit's end here. <laughs> um, I guess one of the other things to do would just be keep trying again. Um, hmm. Rename that back to Cup91. Try the Bullring Cup mod. Go inside and check everything. Looks okay. I'll just minimize this this time and see what happens. Okay, now that one's working. That is kind of creepy. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't really know that. That's the only thing I can't really figure out. Some of them work, some of them don't. It's just creepy sometimes. But, like I say, this is the Bullring mod, and that one seems to be working. I don't get it. Yeah, I guess that... Yeah, my best advice, if you come up with this problem, would be just try again and again. Try different ones. See what happens. Um, Usually I find the problem is... uh last mod you had that with the game actually worked um, you'll see those car file names up here um, but anyway this is the bullring mod um, I like the cup 11 s mod personally but anyway that's beside the point let's try another mod this could be the problem here I don't know I'm gonna just see what happens if I calibrate this controller and it screws up, then it's just me. It's it's not it's not you or anything. Oh boy, here it goes. It still works. So uh, hmm, that really is weird. Huh. 
I've had this happen to me a couple times before, actually, but I still don't get it. It's creepy. Could be maybe if I turn off cra traction control. I doubt it, but huh, that's weird. Yeah, it's just a matter of trial and error, I guess. Let's try, let's try the Cup 90 mod again. Okay, Cup BR11. Rename that. Uh, Cup 91. Okay. It could be just you need to minimize Windows Explorer. Could be as simple as that, I don't know. Uh, yep, now it works. Huh. Yep, it's just kind of a freak thing sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah, see, Cup 90 mod works now. So, um, yeah, you can just email me questions if you have any. Um, I'll try and do my best to answer them. Like I say, I have no idea what was going on there for a second. Um, and I don't know if I'll ever know. It's kind of just... So basically, we're just disguising these new mods as the old one. So, um, so that's basically all you need to do. Um, if you... And whenever you um, re or rename the mod, you'll have to do this each time. But I already have the controls established, so that's okay. In fact, I don't even need to calibrate because I'm going to just try the craft from truck mod. Um, but basically, that's all you have to do. Um, it's somewhat advanced but it works so you know it's kind of worth it's kind of worth it in the end I'll try the 70 mod this is the cool one if it does work I've tried it it's pretty sweet um, this is always tense right here hoping it'll work yep yeah it seems to be we're working now with anything I try so um, I get, I'll do a little race and show you what it's like. Now, some of these mods, in the menu, everything looks fine. You know, it's, you know, this looks all good. Buddy Baker, cool. Anyway, I'm getting on a bunny trail here. Um, some of these mods look fine inside the, the menu screen and stuff, but when you get in the game, they're all blurred and weird. And I don't really know why, that's just probably because of a, a bad graphics card that happened when I would try it on the uh, old Windows XP. This is Windows 7, by the way. Um, so, anyway, that's how you do most mods. It's pretty sweet. Um, if you have any questions, please comment, and I'll try to get back with you in a few days.